All right, so I am incredibly sick of being in drama, and I know that most of you are sick of watching it. But the point of this video is not to start drama or hurl insults, but rather to respond to a social commentary YouTuber who is blatantly lying about me on Twitter. This YouTuber is known as The Quartering. He talks about video games, culture, and social issues, and he describes himself as a social commentary channel. You probably recognize him as the guy who looks like a giant chicken nugget. But this social commentary channel has not been giving accurate commentary. No, because the quartering has spread provably false information about me to his nearly 70,000 Twitter followers. As most of you know, last week I published a video explaining why I left the right and how I now consider myself to be more of a centrist free thinker, mainly because I agree with some things on the left and some things on the right, and I don't like being pushed into an ideological box. Although the haters are loud, I know I have plenty of supporters who are just like me. I know there are loads of people watching who like to think freely, and what the quartering has done is not only attack me, but he has attacked people like me. So to all my free thinkers everywhere, we're in this one together. My video understandably received a pretty mixed response. I mean, I dropped some pretty big news, so I get it, and I also understand that not everyone is thrilled about it. But one of the people who took offense to that video was Jeremy the Quartering. Now, the fact that he lied about me is really disappointing, because although I would still find some of his takes to be kind of cringy, I honestly had a mild amount of respect for the Quartering. I respect his grind, he gets tons of videos out, and he has a very successful channel. I'm also pretty sure we'd see eye to eye on some of the Quartering's opinions when it comes to overly sensitive pansies ruining video games. But it really is disappointing because the little respect I had for Jeremy went out the window when he not only lied about me, but exposed himself as a dogmatic ideologue. First he tweeted, so Hunter Avalone is an SJW now? It's pretty hilarious hearing him talking about the right as if everyone on the right is a neo-Nazi QAnon believing flat earther. I don't care which side of the aisle you think you're on, but lumping entire groups of people like that is dumb. Yeah, lumping entire groups of people is dumb. Kind of like lumping me as an SJW for simply not agreeing with everything on the right. This entire tweet is completely false. First of all, if he had done even an ounce of research, he would have seen that I am a centrist, not an SJW. I'll tell you that trans rights are human rights, and I'll tell you that gun rights are human rights. Anyone who claims you can't be racist towards white people is a lunatic, communism is gross, and open borders is a ridiculous non-practical idea. So I understand that my opinions can seem a little confusing, but again, that's because me and my followers don't stick to ideological lines, but rather we decide based on individual policies, which policies we agree with and which policies we don't agree with. As far as the rest of the tweet, this is all still false. I have repeatedly said I still have a lot of respect for a lot of right-wingers, and I never lumped everyone in as the same. I certainly recognize a lot of flaws within the right. And that's not to say that conservatives are all bad racists or something like that. I mean, I consider myself a conservative for the longest time. I don't think I was a bad person, and I don't think the people that watch me are bad people. Okay, so I just want to make that very clear. I'm not sitting here to shit on a bunch of conservatives or anything. I think Ben Shapiro makes some really good pro-life arguments. I think Jordan Peterson is a really respectable individual, and I sometimes even find Dave Rubin entertaining. So the quartering has already exposed himself as the thought police, quick to tar and feather anyone who dares step out of line. But my friends, it gets so much worse. This is especially annoying because I went to bat for this dude when he was banned off YouTube and subsequently reinstated to YouTube due to people rallying. And he's saying everyone who rallied to help is an idiot neo-Nazi. Holy F, good riddance child. Collectivism is cancer. The irony of the quartering crapping on collectivism while literally propping up a collectivist mindset against free thinkers like me. This is another blatant falsehood, and for someone who claims to be a social commentary channel, I would expect so much better. I never called everyone who rallied to help get my channel back a neo-Nazi, because that's just not true. Slightly Offensive did a ton to help. He's not a neo-Nazi. Mark Dice raised awareness. I don't like the guy, but he's certainly not a neo-Nazi. And finally, you, Jeremy. 
I never once suggested you were anywhere even close to being a neo-Nazi because you're not. I never called you a neo-Nazi. And sure, you took offense to someone saying that Hitler is bad, and you liked a blatantly neo-Nazi tweet directed at you. But you know what? When I was first starting up YouTube, I accidentally retweeted someone with a swastika as their profile picture. I was never a neo-Nazi, and you're not a neo-Nazi either. So I would ask that you please stop slandering me and the people like me simply because you didn't bother to do enough research on the issue before attempting to comment on it. Next, he tries to prove I'm an SJW by tweeting clips that basically disprove everything he just said. The first clip he shared is one where I was talking about Blair White, where I specifically said she is not a neo-Nazi. Because she's not. You no, know, like Blair White, I don't think she's a fucking neo-Nazi. And the next clip he shared, I said that I don't think Lauren Chen is a neo-Nazi either. Because some of these other people, like, I don't know, I don't really know if Roaming Millennial or Lauren Chen is like a neo-Nazi or she's like I think she's Roman, I think she's a fascist. So his previous claims are that I'm labeling everyone as a neo-Nazi, but the only clips he's managed to post actually show me doing the opposite. I do, however, believe that Lauren Chen is a fascist because she's literally admitted it on Twitter. I don't know about you, but authoritarianism goes against my core beliefs of freedom of speech and liberty for all. And listen, I get it. The left does overuse terms like neo-Nazi and fascist. So I understand that when you hear people use those terms, your first instinct may be doubt. But if you seriously hear those words and instantly just grab your SJW you label, all you're doing is reacting to buzzwords. Kind of like an SJW. But anytime I do actually use this terminology, I can defend my claims with evidence. Next, he tries to claim that I'm an SJW because, quote, I mean loads of non-SJWs run around calling people Nazis, I guess. This is some really embarrassing two-dimensional thinking right here. You're literally saying that because I used a word some dumb SJWs use sometimes, it means that I'm an SJW. Again, I agree those words are used too liberally, but unless you're willing to claim that neo-Nazis just don't exist, then my statements are valid. Even more so, by that logic, look. Degenerate. I just used a word a lot of people on the right use. I guess I'm just a conservative now. Since I was banned from Twitter in 2017, I responded the only way I could by making an Instagram post. In my post, I accused him of lying about me and I asked him to debate me. He responded by calling me an SJW again. You realize that in one breath, you claim that all the left does is label everyone they disagree with as Nazis, but in the next breath, you label everyone you disagree with as an SJW. Both sweeping claims are pathetic and stupid. The quartering then declined my debate invite by saying it would make him a cuck to debate me. I, I don't even know. So the quartering negatively labels everyone he disagrees with, he talks trash on Twitter, and then refuses to debate. Jeremy, if anyone's an SJW, it's you. I just find this whole thing to be really disheartening, and to see someone who I once respected turn into the thought police is not an easy thing. But regardless, Jeremy, we free thinkers will not be silenced. We are not going to be bullied into your ideological box and then slandered for stepping out of it. You have a responsibility to share accurate information, and you have failed your audience. Even more so, you've exposed your own bias by refusing to research further into the situation and instead just blindly labeling everyone who disagrees with you, everyone who dares to criticize some negative aspects of the left and the right as SJWs. Are you really clinging so tightly to your ideological lines that even the slightest whiff of criticism is enough for you to resort to slander and lies? Is the bar really that low for what constitutes an SJW? I guess all it takes is to call out bad behavior on the left and the right to become a blue-haired gender studies major. I know for a fact that I am not alone in my way of thinking. There are thousands upon thousands of people with me who also prefer to examine all political sides from an objective lens, 
and the quartering, you will not succeed in tarring and feathering people like me. So Jeremy, my debate invite still stands. You started this, and if you have even an ounce of dignity left, you'll finish it. We can debate on a series of topics, whether or not neo-Nazis exist, whether or not I'm an SJW, and more. I'm open to having a non-partisan host and discussing topics beforehand so we can both prepare equally. Please let me know if you'd be open for a discussion, or if you would rather just slander people like me who dare to think freely from your safe space. I'm an SJW, I know more than you and you, I fight for rights of blacks and Jews, reasoning I never use, Trump's a racist, see the clues, Mary Jane this guy should use, in my Prius I will cruise to the march that says women shoes, every day's another plight, I educate so I'm uptight, racist Nazis I will fight but I'll say fuck you if you're white, you will never understand that hate speech should be banned, if I fall don't need a hand from a patriarchal privileged man.